Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to tackle classes. So, let's just go through this one step at a time. So, alright, <clears throat> we're going to create a variable. We know what that is. That's a list, right? So, let's look a little more closely. So, all right. This is a predefined class in Python. So, we are actually going to create our own. And the example that I love to use is let's create a class for rectangles. And it's going to take in information, and then we're going to be able to do methods. But we're going to do this real slow because this can get tricky real fast. So let's get a little nerdy here for a second and look and see and I and I picked this on purpose class objects. So all right. Let's peek over here. Let's see if we can see, we can see this. Okay, good. So all right. In it, the first thing inside your your class is in it. Initiate and initiate and new work together. So we're getting pretty deep into the documentation of how Python works. And this is perfect. So, and we already know what these are, double underscore methods, right? So this is a method that works in the background and it comes here and it creates whatever we tell it, it creates it. It's the first thing that happens new and initiate work together to create the new object. So all right, let's let's get started. So all right, and to, sh to show you, let's do help x close this out. So in a list right here, initialize self. And then you come down with new, create, and return new object. So just to show you inside list that it's there. So all right, like I said, we're gonna do rectangle. And also, we're, I want you to look and see this word, self. And the reason why I used this example is this is a list, right? But right here, x is self. We'll dig more into that in a minute. So all right. So first we have to declare class. And if we look really, really close, we know what orange is, that's a keyword. So class, then let's just name it rect for rectangle. Now, just like this method, we know how to create functions, right? And I told you a long time ago that a function and a method behave the same. They are just called differently. So inside a just like just like with our append, this is a method, but it acts the same. So just like when we create a function, we have to use our def. So creating our init, our initiate, or an init method we need to get started now all right I want to go over this super 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 slow because I don't want to lose you at all and I don't want this to be overwhelming and it can be so all right self self is important remember how I talked about X X dot append this is the same thing as self we know it's a list but this is the self right so keep that in mind. So we do self for, it doesn't matter what the variable is, we still have to describe itself. We have to describe itself. We have to account for itself. Self is whatever object that is going to be a rectangular object. So all right, think about a rectangle. It has a length and a width. We're going to do these 
just for a length and a width. All right. Now, this is where it gets real, real goofy. So, self length equals length. Self width equals width. So, okay. We are assigning th this input because we're going to take, because normally, when we take when we create a function we take in information you don't do that with classes you use the init method to define it and bring in the information so all right now here's something that is your correct angle is Use our placeholders by close that out, format, length, width, close that. Let's bring this over just a touch so we can see everything. Now, so this is what this does. So let's run this. So now, oop, box equals. So this is the same thing as self because this is our instance of this object, this type of object, this class of object. So, all right. Then we give it, then we call the class, and lo and behold, Python goes, hey, I know this object, I know this class. It takes in a length and a width. So we give it three by four. And the way Python works is this object is about to be created, right? So it comes in here, it uses its function, the init function, and drops it on this and create and does everything inside this method. And then lo and behold, it's gonna run this too. So I put this here so you can see that it's doing something because when all the other methods, depending on what type we create, we have to give specific direction. So I think this video is long enough right here. The next video we're gonna do two more methods that we're going to that we're going to have to call but i want you to think about this for a second actually let's call these so box because i really want this self to sink in because this can be tricky length and box width i didn't have to do the parentheses because it's not a function these are variables these are variables this is self so you do this for basically saying, I don't care what it is, it's any time I have an object, whatever the person, just like this. Python knows this is the object right here, new, new, arguments, I'm sorry, uh, self, gets created. Python does not care that it's called X. It just knows that, hey, X is gonna be a, a list because you put the brackets after it and then I'm going to be able to create all these all these to it and the way that Python does it is it says L so for us because that's a list so box and self here are the exact same thing so that's why when we called length we got the input we took and the same thing with width these are variables variables that's why they don't need anything so all right there we go that's the init and how to create a class with the init method. And then we're going to build on this and we're going to do two other methods next video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And most important, that notification bell because we don't want you missing anything. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.